Hello. This video is about how to perform design failure mode and effects analysis based on the harmonized AI AG VDA FMEA handbook. It is a guide to using the FMEA executive software from Symphony Tech to perform FMEA and derive quantum benefits from the FMEA practice. There are two important concepts that are fundamental to the FMEA practice. First, FMEA is a collection of structure, function, and failure relationships. Structure is the one upon which you do failure analysis. Functions describe the useful work a structure should be doing. A structure will have multiple functions. Failure tells you what can go wrong in performing a function. A function can fail in multiple ways and thus have multiple failures associated with it. The second concept is about the way in which failure is expressed. In the past, we have been talking about failure modes, failure effects, and failure causes. In the current practice, you simply define a failure. Failures take the form of failure effects, failure modes, or failure causes, depending upon where they appear in the failure chain. We will discuss more about this as we go along. To start working on your FMEA, first create the structure. The structure represents the exploded bill of materials that connects products, sub-assemblies, and components. What cannot be represented by a physical form is represented as a design element. The example shows a relay assembly that has functional sub-assemblies and finally components. The example shows a structure tree built in the FMEA executive software. Note the different levels at which products, sub-assemblies, and components assemble in the structure tree. The button bar on the top helps you build the tree and navigate through it. A click of the View Structure button helps you to visualize the structure and its hierarchy of product, sub-assemblies, and components. The next step in FMEA is to assign functions to each structure. Functions are assigned to each level of structure, product, and sub-assemblies, and components. Each has a function to perform. Reminding you of the definition, functions describe what useful work each structure should be doing. To understand relationship between functions, you need to connect them and link them into function nets. Function nets help you understand the what does it do and how relationships in the connected function net. From a higher level function to lower, the question how is answered.
In the example, question of how does the load side contact get actuated is answered by the lower level function as by energizing the yoke adequately. Similarly, energizing of yoke in turn is enabled by lower element function of producing adequate magnetic flux. From a lower level function to the higher, the question what does it do is answered as illustrated in the example. Function net is very easily and conveniently built in FMEA executive by assigning multiple functions to each structure element. All the navigation is conveniently done through the button bar. Here we need to understand the concept of focus element. A focus element is defined as one upon which your current failure analysis is focused. To link functions in a function net, place your cursor on the function of your focus, then click the function and failure change button on the button bar. Your focus function will appear at the center of the screen. Higher level structure functions and lower level structure functions will be displayed on the right frame of the screen. Select the functions from higher and lower levels that are connected with your current focus function and click the Assign button. Your function net is now linked. Click the Back to FMEA button to go back to the FMEA tree. Similar to what you did for functions, assign multiple failures to each function. These are the multiple ways in which the function will be prevented from being achieved. You now need to connect failure chains. The procedure followed is identical to what you did for function nets. Place your cursor on the focus failure Click the function failure chain button. On this screen, connect higher level failures and lower level failures to the focus failure. A very important concept to remember, focus failure becomes the failure mode. Failures associated with the higher level become failure effects and, and failures associated with the lower level become failure causes. You can see in the example that single failure mode will lead to many effects and have multiple causes. As we already know, actions are taken on causes. Click the Back to FMEA button to go back to the FMEA tree. As you work with the FMEA executive software, you will discover that severity, occurrence and detection ratings can be assigned to failures. Severity ratings become relevant to failure effects, which are failures associated with the higher level than the focus element. 
detection and occurrence rating become relevant to failure causes which are failures associated with the level lower than the focus element. Let us understand how to assign ratings as we move ahead in this tutorial. As a result of connecting failure chain, you will notice that FMEA executive now shows causes and effects connected as a node to each failure mode under focus. Double click this node to go to the next step. The next step is risk analysis. Navigating from the tree, the screen shows structure, function, and failure mode in the focus in a tree form. Below the tree, the screen shows two tabs, effects tab and the causes tab. The effect tab shows all the connected failures at the higher level structure. If you have assigned severity ratings to effects while defining them, the ratings will appear on the screen, else you can define them here. Notice that the highest severity rating of all the effects is displayed in the tree above. The causes tab will display rows of failure causes. These are connected failures that are associated with lower level structures of the focus element. You can define current controls of prevention, occurrence ratings, current controls of detection and detection ratings on the screen. Severity, occurrence and detection ratings are all defined on a scale of 1 to 10 as is the prevalent FMEA practice. The former practice of calculating a risk priority number, however, has been made obsolete. Instead, an action priority is computed based on a well-defined logic in the FMEA handbook. Action priority is defined as either low, medium, or high. FMEA executive evaluates and displays action priority based on the highest severity rating among the effects and occurrence and detection ratings for the cause. Multiple improvement actions can be defined to mitigate each cause and reduce, reduce the risk and reduce the risk of failure. Define actions, assign them to persons and teams, schedule them and track them for effective reduction of incidence of occurrence and easier detection of causes. The handbook recommends that the effectiveness of actions needs to be evaluated and validated, also documented, before logging closure of action. FMEA executive comes with several filtered reports that help you in tracking, prioritizing, and managing effectively by exception. Use these reports to take your FMEA efforts beyond mere documentation. FMEA can be expressed in the familiar spreadsheet form with a click of, of a button. FMEA executive software is powerful yet easy to work with. Explore the simple features that enable you an anxiety-free implementation of FMEA and take your FMEA initiative beyond mere documentation. FMEA executive addresses both design and process FMEAs. An evaluation version of FMEA executive is available for download and tryout. Download link is provided in the narration of this video.